What's up every day? What's up every day? <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? Today we're doing a much anticipated bean video that y'all have been requesting. The bean lady is here. <laughs> Yeah, and I think I speak for everybody. We hope the next year we get a few more people here, but we've had a ball, had pretty good weather, other than the rain on the cookout. But uh, I appreciate everybody that came and hope everybody had as good a time as I did. We ain't good, I know that. No, yeah, we ain't good. Ain't good. <laughs> so good now. Be looking for the video, the bean video right here. Yeah. Bean, bean. <laughs> we got that one for the bean video, so I guess I got that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so first thing we're gonna do, let's go through ingredients. Um, like I said, this is cowboy beans. So it's pretty much whatever you have available in your kitchen, in your pantry. There's no set amount or set ingredient that you need, but I'm gonna show you what I like to use. Um, we're making a big old batch today. Um, we're gonna can it. So that way, because Shannon usually eats all the leftovers, we have a week's worth of beans. So we're gonna um, make a big pot and can them, and uh, that way we'll have some to last. So um, your meats, you don't have to put meat in, but you can. You can use hamburger, you can use bacon. Um, so I'm using um, a pound of hamburger today, and I think this is uh, two pounds of bacon. A um, Couple onions, doesn't matter what kind, whatever you got. I happen to have white ones in my pantry, so that's what I'm gonna use today. Um, so brown sugar, of course, you gotta have sugar in it. It's the South, that's what we do. Um, when it comes to the beans, whatever you want. This is what I have, I'm gonna put a lot in. So I got light and dark kidney beans. Um, black eyed peas, black beans, um, white kidney beans, great northern beans, and I always put baked beans in there just because it's got some of that sauce and stuff in it. Um, you're definitely going to need barbecue sauce, any kind you want. This is our favorite in our house, so that's what we use. Um, Worcestershire sauce, or as I like to call it, where's your sister sauce. Um, liquid smoke, you need a little bit of smoke in there. When it comes to the, the rubs and stuff, any kind of barbecue rub that you have, you just want that little bit of extra seasoning and spice in there. Um, you can use spicy stuff if you like yours a little bit hotter than others. We're kind of mild people, so I just stick with the mild. Salt and pepper, um, garlic. I like to use fresh garlic. Um, I know it's in the garlic bottle, but I cut it up and I put it in oil, so I have it whenever I need it, and I do it in large batches at a time. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use, and uh, we'll go step by step here and tell you how I make my beans. Dang, she done that all in one cut. She's gonna start doing my videos for me. <laughs> So first thing first is cooking your bacon. Um, no special bacon needed, whatever you got in your kitchen or whatever you guys like to use. Um, don't use turkey bacon, Blech. So we're gonna cook it up and um, you want it really nice and crispy. You don't want soft stuff because once, it, um, once it's cooked, we're gonna cool it and crumble it and put it in the stuff. And that means no spam, Danny or Ronnie. No spam. So bacon's done. We're gonna take it and we're gonna kind of let it rest on paper towels and it drain a little bit and let it cool off. It's gotta be cool enough we can handle it because we're gonna crumble it up. So next thing before you drain any of the grease, I like to keep the grease in to cook my onions. It just adds a little bit extra flavor. Thanks to the little Tupperware container. Shout out to Tupperware for that. <laughs> um, chopped onion, you don't want them real fine. All right, so onions are in, they cook for a couple minutes. I'm um, gonna add some garlic in. Probably like two or three cloves. Kinda cook it up a little bit. 
We're just going to kind of brown the onions for a minute or two, and then we're going to put the hamburger in. All right, so cook for a minute or two, and then we're going to put our hamburger in. All right, so everything's cooked. The, the meat is cooked in the onions and it's good. You don't have to cook them all the way through because they're gonna cook in the beans more. So you just kind of want them enough that they're browned and the, the pink is gone. So I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of grease in there. Um, you can put it in the beans if you want, but it's gonna make them greasy. So what I do, um, I strain it all out. Of course, you don't put oil down your sink. So I put the strainer in a bowl and I strain it out and I kind of let it sit for a minute. That way, most of the grease will come out but that meat and that onion will be um, coated in, you know, some more of that bacon flavor. And that'll get most of your grease out of there. All right, so put it all together. So I got a really big pot because it takes up a lot of space. So you're gonna put your meat in there, meat and onions. There. Bacon, so we're gonna crumble it all up. Like I said, it's best if it's nice and crunchy. I really get into my work. <laughs> yeah, see that. <laughs> Taking volunteers to come clean the kitchen after we're done with the video. Since y'all wanted the video, we're doing the video. But I need somebody to come clean my kitchen. Yeah. All right, so beans in the pot. So your baked beans, you don't want to drain. Just dump them right in. Two cans of baked beans. And then your other beans you want to kind of strain out. You don't need to rinse them, but you want them kind of strained. You don't need all that juice in there. Dark red. Got all the beans in there, got the bacon in there, got the meat in there. So kind of mix it up a little bit. And then we're gonna put all the extra stuff in there. Right. Start with the rub. There's no particular order this has to go in. Always add more after the beans cooked if you like more flavor. Um, liquid smoke I like. 
I like that smoky flavor. Not a whole lot. This stuff is real strong. Squirt. Where's your sister sauce? I like this stuff, so lots of that. Probably a good quarter, quarter cup, maybe. Alright, brown sugar. We like sweet, so. I'm probably going to put half of this, which is probably, I want to say, two or three cups of brown sugar. That's what makes me so sweet. <laughs> and then lots of barbecue sauce. Probably half this, probably this whole bottle. Yeah. All right, so ingredient-wise, that's it. Mix it up. Sometimes I add a little bit of water if it's a little thick. So it's kind of thick, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, but I don't wanna waste the barbecue sauce, so just add a little bit of water in your barbecue bottle. Shake it up, that way you're using all the rest of your sauce. And add that in, that's probably about mm, two cups of water. All right, so that's everything in there. Um, just let it cook. I'll probably medium heat for till it's nice and bubbly, so probably like 30 minutes. And then um, you can do it in a crock pot too. This is when I would, I would cook it first and then I put it in a crock pot and just put it on low and leave it sit until everybody's ready to eat. Um, but probably a good hour of it, you know, half hour cooking on high and then a half hour cooking on low, leaving it simmer. And that's it, got your beans. So there's one thing I almost forgot, my secret ingredient, maple syrup, pancake syrup. Well, it's regular, pa it's, it's regular pancake syrup. It's regular not pancake syrup. Not maple. It's probably about a cup, cup and a half. I almost forgot. <laughs> Just adds a little bit more sweetness because you know the brown sugar is not enough. All right, time for the taste test. It's really hot though if I don't get burned, which some of y'all out there would really like to see me get burnt, Danny. Mm. -hmm. Heck yeah, that's good. Don't y'all wish you could have some? <laughs> Can you smell that, Danny? All y'all went to Cumberland Mountain State Park? I'm thinking about y'all. Till the next trip, We'll do it again. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Y'all been waiting. Sorry it took us so long. We finally got around doing it. Um, you know, it went, we don't typically make this that often. We usually do it in big batches like she just did. And uh, so we, you know, it took us a little while to do the video, but we decided that we're going to do a part two on this and we're going to actually try to can it. So we're doing this video and y'all make sure to check out part two and uh if you ain't checked out the video from the youtube meetup we did over in tennessee and cumberland state park y'all need to go check that out we had a great time and uh, everybody wanted us to do a video of it and uh there y'all go so anyways i hope y'all enjoyed the video and be sure to check out part two y'all we'll see y'all next venture bye y'all